Hello, today I'm in the 2020 E-Up and I'm going to attempt a rather long drive uh, and see if it's possible to make it. I could do a capacity test or a efficiency test, however I think it's... Um, uh, I want to see how it does in a real driving situation. Uh, nobody kind of drives straight on a flat road for a set speed, except maybe in America, <laughs> but not here in Europe. So I'm going to see if it can make this 240 kilometer trip in one go. And also I'm going to try to uh, see if the battery capacity is what it says in the spec. It does have a 36.8 kilowatt hour battery, I think, and 32.3 of them should be usable. So the rest is a buffer. So let's see, I've uh, nullified it. The GOM says 283 kilometers, so that's promising. I reset the computer here. <laughs> uh, first part of the leg is a ferry, so off we go. Right, I'm on the other side. I've driven 23 kilometers so far, which is not that much. And it uh, looks like I've spent maybe between 5 and 10% uh, of energy. So I've driven about 10% of the distance and uh, spent a little less than 10%. So hopefully this should be fine. It's quite nice this area. Lots of hills and uh, small ponds. <laughs> Consumption so far is 125 watt hours per kilometer, which is really good. But you can see the average speed is quite low because I've been standing, or been, uh, uh, the ferry takes about 10 minutes. And um, contrary to the Tesla, this one actually counts energy spent when you're standing still on air condition and stuff. The Tesla will not count that into the efficiency measurement. All right, a quick update. I haven't driven that much further. It's a nice lake here, <laughs> or a fjord rather. I think it is. I'm actually not sure if this is fresh or salt water. Uh, I've driven um, 42 kilometers, but look at this consumption. 102 watt hours per kilometer. I have been behind a slow Norwegian driver, but uh, still, <laughs> 103, 102, this is insane. I think my Model X would have been around 140, 150 watt hour per kilometer at this point. So the GUM claims I still have 255 kilometers left, but we'll see, there's going to be a lot of uh, up and downs once I get a bit further on. It's slightly flat one, uh, while I'm going past or along this lake, but then there are some hills behind it that I have to go up and down. <laughs> we'll see after that. All right, I'm approaching the west coast of Norway with a lot of grazing hills and uh, sheep. <laughs> See, yeah, there's a bunch of sheep up there. So I've been, uh, I passed the slow Norwegian driver, even though I hit some again now. And uh, I've driven about, uh, let's say, 60, 67 kilometers. Claims that I have 250 left on the gasometer. I've driven, uh, I've spent almost 25% of the energy, and uh, th the consumption is crazy. 111 watt hours per kilometer. So I don't know if it's the weather or what's causing this because I drove fairly hard for a while. And uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe this is the new efficiency king. Look at that 111. I'm also driving on the road that they've scraped, they're preparing to pave it, so it's a bit noisy. There's some legs. <laughs> so, 
going up the hills here. <laughs> so far I've driven 94 kilometers. I'm just barely under, well, I'm probably at 70-ish percent, maybe six, even 60 percent. I think each of these bars are six and a half percent. It's not easy because you don't have a digital readout of the state of charge in this car. Yeah, you don't have that in mind either. Uh, consumption is 109 watt hour per kilometer, so I don't think there is it's a fluke or anything. Look, it's a big windmill that's standing still. <laughs> but I think it's only about 25 kilometers left until the turnaround point. So, so far it's looking really good for this trip. Lots of windmill stand still. I thought they only were standing when they had maintenance, but it's not. There is not much wind today. So, I'm in Stavanger. Uh, it, I've driven a little bit longer than I expected. I thought I was going to go 120, but um, I think I need to turn around now. Uh, I'm not going to charge. <laughs> oh, it's actually a gas station, like. Naturgas, which is uh, natural gas. I thought at first it was a um, charging station. Anyway, uh, the car has been doing excellent so far, but the last part with the highway. Oh, I need to get in. It kind of killed uh, not really the consumption, but uh, the battery. <laughs> so, can I see this? Yeah, I think so. I'm almost exactly at half state of charge, so this is going to be quite exciting. I think I need to drive a little bit slower on the highway on the way back, because it really drained uh, like six, I think one bar here is 6.25%. Consumption so far in total is 105 watt hour per kilometer, which is really good. But I'm a bit worried that I will make it, but uh, there is a charger close by where I'm going anyway, so Oh, there is uh, EV chargers. <laughs> well, I'm not going to top up. Uh, the car is uh, far from the distance, or doesn't have nearly as much issue with distance as my car has. The only thing that I don't really like in this car is the seats. Makes me miss my Model X a bit. <laughs> but only halfway. Still a while to go. 136 kilometers driven so far. Right, I'm back in the sheep country and cows. There are some cows up on the hill there. This is where they produce all the sheep meat in Norway, or most of it. It's called the Jaren. And uh, so far I've done 164 kilometers and it looks like I have 24 kilometers left on the gum. I, I think I was saved a bit by some road construction work on the highway because it was going a bit slower there. Look, more cows up on the hill. And some windmills. Oh, this one is actually turning. So yeah, there's going to be a detour here as well. Uh, so far, I'm still at around 104 watt hours per kilometer. So I might make it, <laughs> we'll see. So I just passed the entrance to Egersund, uh, the road into Norsjövägen, which is a more scenic road, it's the old road. Oh, there's an eye pace. <laughs> um, and I'm about to pass 200 kilometers in an E-up. That's almost unheard of. <laughs> Definitely not something my old EUP could do. So far I have, uh, well, I'm almost at 25% state of charge. Still got a few there, past 200. <laughs> Still got a few kilometers left in it. And I think I will make it back. You can see if you add up the length of driving, uh, 200 kilometers, and plus the gasometer, which says 94 kilometers, it's almost 300 kilometers of range. But I've had, uh, I've been behind the slow golf for a bit. 
So um, yeah, I don't I don't think the car would have been able to do this trip without any other cars on the road or road construction and that sort of thing. So you have to drive to get this distance. You have to mind your consumption. <laughs> You can see right now it's uh, 103 watt hours per kilometer, which is just crazy. I'm back on the the bad road, the the, the road where they sh shaved the top of it off to repave it, and it's about 10 kilometers later than the 200 mark. And I just passed 25% state of charge. So 210 kilometers so far. So it's even more than double my own car due to the degradation, of course. But it's uh, still nice weather, still nice scenery. I have a little bit left to go. And I think I might make it. We'll see. There are a couple of places I can bail out if I don't. So, the, the gasometer, oh, now it bounced back up. It was at 48 kilometers uh, range left. But now it says 50, uh, uh, 49, okay. So it's going a bit up and down. It's because I just entered a lower speed limit zone and I'm not spending as much energy right now. However, at 50 kilometers, I got the warning, uh, 50 kilometers left, and it engaged eco mode for me. Uh, and I, it's so hot today, I'm tempted to just take it off. But um, so far, 102 watt hours per kilometer, 240 kilometers driven, <laughs> which is kind of crazy for an E-up. And uh, yeah, you can see there as well, it's 21.5 degrees outside, it's really hot. Oh, now I entered a tunnel. But there's not many kilometers left, I think. It said 135 at the turnaround point which means I should go another 30 kilometers. It's gonna be tight. <laughs> so um, hopefully this car keeps driving slow <laughs> so I can draft behind him. They also have a ferry to make. And I don't think I need to charge. If I do, I miss the ferry. We'll see. Oh, now it's driving even slower. I'm entering uh, Flekkefjord Kommune, which is where I'm going, so that's a good sign. I am passing through the city of Flekkefjord. Flekkefjord, as they say here. Uh, Gom says 28 kilometers left. I know it's about 14 kilometers to where uh, I'm going. I just passed the last fast charger, <laughs> so... Uh, it looks like I have about 6.25% state of charge left. I'm at exactly 100 watt hours per kilometer. Um, so I, <laughs> I'm a bit unsure if I'm going to make it, but it's, there's no fast roads or there's some slightly fast roads. Um, Fastish and a lot of ups and downs. And I've gone 260 kilometers so far. But I don't entirely trust that gasometer because there was some downhill before coming here. <laughs> 27. It's going to be tight. The ferry leaves at in 20 minutes. So I, I don't have time to fast charge really. <laughs> That's the biggest issue here. Uh, luckily, there is a charger on the island I'm going to. Back to the island. 
Yeah, but that, that's, that's the city of Lekkefjö. I'm already past it. It's not very big. I think it has a population of 5,000. So, I'll, I'm getting also getting kind of hot here because they turned on the Eco Mode Plus and I can't shut it off. So I have no air conditioning or anything here. And it's hot outside, 22 degrees. I think this is the last major up and down. There's one up before the ferry. I think this is the, I can charge a little bit here. It just gave me a message. It said, the battery is empty. <laughs> Driving extremely limited. And I have turtle mode. You can see the orange turtle to the left of the speedometer. And uh, this thing says that my consumption is too high to make it home, <laughs> which is a bit scary. Now it says 14 kilometers again, but the, the needle is almost empty. And I think I have a few kilometers left after the ferry, so this is going to be very close. I've been kind of hypermiling uh, right now, not driving fast at all. I probably shouldn't have done a couple of the overtakings I did. But now I'm at the bottom of this hill, I'm getting to the ferry. Well, there's one small hill left. And then I have the ferry. Whew. I made it back to the starting point. I've driven 273 kilometers and the gasometer says I have 23 kilometers range left, which is uh, good, very good for an e-up, but I did have to hypermile a bit at the end because I was getting scared. The gasometer was down to about 10 kilometers at one point. And um, as you can see, the total consumption from the trip was 100 watt hours per kilometer or 10 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer. And if you multiply that by uh, the 273 kilometers I've driven, that comes out to 27.3 watt kilowatt hours used. And um, that's kind of strange because the battery is now at 5%. Which, uh, that's also really strange because it was down to zero. And after I left the ferry, it just kept going up and up and up. So a pro tip, if you get low on juice on this car, just shut it down for a bit and it seems to be recalibrating or something like that. But if you take 27.3 divided by 0.95 to get the total battery capacity, it's only like 29 kilowatt hours and it's supposed to have 32.3. So that's a bit lower than I expected, expected, but I suspect that this number is incorrect because it's incredibly low <laughs> and it's not... I don't think it's possible the way I drove to have this low consumption. Anyway, this car is definitely usable for medium range driving or I've been driving for three, four and a half hours now and I'm starting to hurt a bit in my back. But other than that, it's a, a nice car and it would just be a quick uh, top up on the fast charger and I could go on. So it's definitely better for medium to long range than my own car, my E-Up. Not the Tesla. <laughs> but uh, comfort-wise, uh, I don't think more than five hours is, is good. <laughs> but um, yeah, for the price, this is a great car. Uh, and um, I'm kind of jealous of the range compared to my own e -up. <laughs>